Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Sun Upon 7. We're here, excited on your Wednesday episode. I hope that everybody's doing well and that you enjoy everything that we have planned for you today. Before we get into our first conversation, talking about the new era of technology and making health more accessible, let me remind you can follow us on our various social media platforms, which include Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and YouTube. On Facebook, you can follow our, and you can watch our live on 7 News Belize, as well as Sun Up on 7. On Instagram, you can stay in touch with everything that happens here. And if you miss any of our conversations, they're uploaded on our YouTube channel. So by all means, subscribe and enjoy all our content. And please share our social media platforms within your network and get the Sun Up on 7 family growing. So as I shared with you, we're in technology era and we want to make uh, health more accessible. So introducing to us OneMed, which is a virtual clinic, we have Dr. Luis Ramirez, general health specialist, talking to us and giving us an orientation about what OneMed is about, what services you can access there, and of course, anything associated with it. Good morning, Dr. Luis. How are good you morning, feeling guys. today? Good, good. Thank you. How are you guys? Great. We're, We're great. so thankful that you accepted our invitation and make the effort to join us today. Thank you guys for having me. To give us an exciting. orientation into one med. Yeah, yeah, I think just the general idea of having an app that makes things much more convenient for everyone, that's like a thought process where young people just like, yeah, okay, we have an app now. So tell me, Doc, give me the thought process or, you know, what would the general idea when we said... Let's create an app. What was a, who, who was behind this or like how did this come to be then? Well, contrary to popular belief or, or what most people would, would be led to think today, um, telemedicine has been around for quite some time. It's, it hasn't, it's not something, it's not a novelty in the advent of, of the pandemic. Um, in first world countries such as the US and other first world European countries, it has been around for at least 10 years. Mm. And, and their system is already totally integrated where they have a system of pharmacies and labs hooked up so it's everything, everything is on the, their platform. So if I see you virtually and I order labs, you can go to any lab that's under that umbrella, get your labs done. It's automatically updated on the system so I can review it instantly. So this is something that's far ahead from where we are now here in Belize, but it's where we hope to be. Yeah. And it's something that, that comes with the times, you know, that the, the technology is something that um, we can't refute. And and especially in the, in the medical community in this, aspect of virtual medicine there has been some pushback from the from the traditional medicine right because uh that it, it, it's always been that you go to see a doctor physically you get checked up physically you speak face to face and you know in person but um we're coming to an age where people are busier people have uh busier lives they have more jobs to hold down uh you know nowadays women and men work it's not like in the old days where only the men would work so it, it, it's something that, um, that can be of use uh, across the board. Right. And also, like, we've, uh, we've, we've uh, talked about how uh, access to health has been facing many challenges in regards to, like, uh, costs for transportation to go to the clinic, right? Uh, people, as rightly mentioned, they have, like, different job uh, working times, so that might be another factor and responsibilities within the household. So this is where, you know, like, um, having an app can, can make it very, very more accessible for people to uh, prioritize their, their health care. So for folks that are thinking subscribing to OneMed, what are the benefits that they get from this? Well, um, right now the, the, the benefit is the ease of access. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you could, you, could, you could see they have some persons who are very particular about the physicians that they see, and they only want to be seen by a mm -hmm. particular physician. So if they're traveling abroad, let's say they're in Jetamal, they want to be seen, they want to do a follow-up with their physician, whether it be a specialist or a general physician like myself, they can quickly jump on the app and, and be seen virtually. Okay. So the accessibility, the user-friendliness of the app and the web portal, and, and the low cost, the cost effectiveness of the, of the system is, is, are the benefits that, that the population are seeking are nice. going to get, no? With All right. So, Doc, you mentioned something that I'm sure a lot of people are probably in their mind, like, okay, this is an app. I can, be, I can get my consultation and everything. But I naturally think that I have to go in physically to see my doctor. Talk a little bit about that aspect of, you know, how you don't necessarily have to go in physically to see. Or is there any cases where, of course, maybe I've seen you and I realize we need to do a second look, I need to do something extra or whatever it is, and that's when you have to come in. Can you talk a little bit about that? consultation aspect right so um having worked in the private sector in the primary health care um level we see that many day-to-day -day clinic visits don't require to go to the clinic 
They have a lot of elderly folks that go to the clinic just to get a refill on their meds. Yeah. And um, I, I, even working on San Pedro, San Pedro, we only know San Pedro Town, but San Pedro is big. So there are people that come all the way up north, elderly people. Um, so it, it's something that, um, that in those cases will remove the having to go to the clinic physically. And then you could just, I could just write a prescription on the virtual um, prescription pad, no? And then they could refill it at the nearest pharmacy. So that's one, one, um, one scenario where, where, these, uh, where this can help. Also, you know, you have a lot of people who um, just want to get a general, uh, you know, they have a rash or they have a little allergic, uh, you know, and if it's something that doesn't involve any difficulty breathing or anything that would be considered an emergency, it's not necessary to go into the clinic, yeah. especially on the primary healthcare uh, level. You you have quite a weight at the clinics, right? Um, depending on which day you go, but Mondays are usually the heaviest. Yes, and sometimes they have patients out there waiting for an hour or two hours. So this is 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 um is 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 almost instantaneous, um, because as soon as a physician has a time slot available, then you will be immediately pushed through. Um, yes, it, there there's a cost to the to the app, to the appointment, but compared to the travel costs that you would save, and like you said, they have patients who come down, Sand Hill, they come down to Belize City, they have to buy food, they have to buy breakfast, they have to buy lunch, you know, they have to pay for the bus or the taxi or whatever. So it, it, it adds up to about the same or some, or even less than what they would, uh, they would spend, no? So that's, that, those are two scenarios. And, um, you know, the, the, the platform, the, the, the realm of telemedicine has its, has its um, deficiencies, no, or its its limitations. Mm -hmm. yeah. Put it like that, you know. But um, but overall, it will be it's something that would be beneficial. It's a great start. Definitely. I mean, it's 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 it's, it's good that we're finally catching up, as as you rightly said. You yeah. know, this has been going on in other spaces for for years, but here we are. I mean, COVID kind of pushed it, um, but we are here, and, and it's good that we are catching up. Um, so you're ready to share with us what are some of the benefits. Um, what is what are some of the difference between virtual and, and physical consultation? How can persons go about registering and accessing the app? Okay, so it's accessible by two means. You can download the app on the Google Store, or the Apple App Store, mm -hmm. um, totally free of cost. It doesn't cost to download the app. Or you could go to the web portal at onemed.cloud, um, which is accessed through any um, online search engine, no? Google or Chrome. Um, once you have access to the main portal then you will go ahead and put in your email and your password you will log in and then you will input your biostatistic information to formulate your patient profile so okay. this information includes your height your weight your sex any underlying conditions you may or may not have any underlying conditions that are present in your family we know that certain illness um, certain, certain non-communicable diseases such as diabetes and hypertension are hereditary um, or have a genetic component to it so um, these are all things that will formulate your patient profile. And when you have an appointment, this patient profile will be ac able to be accessed by the physician of that appointment and nobody else. And once that appointment has been closed, that physician cannot go back and access that patient profile. Okay. So this is, this, the, the security of information is something that's important to people. Yes. Yeah, and it's a, it's a theme that has been coming up. So, so it's, it's absolutely safe and it's only accessible by the physician during that appointment. And um, during the appointment, the patient profile will help to guide the consultation, help the physician to reach a timely diagnosis and more adequate treatment. All right. That, so we want to invite you to, um, you know, give us a demonstration on the app on your phone. Uh, we're going to be showing down your screen for the sake of our viewers that want to get a, a proper demo into how the app looks, how to go about um, navigating it, you know, because... It's a quick and easy, simple thing to do. Like, I think the hardest part for maybe some people would just be to start Registering so properly and putting be, their information. We'll go to the App Store. And this is an Apple phone. Go to the App Store. On the App Store, it's called One Med Belize. Then you download the app. Okay. Getting there. So. It's really easy to just like one med Belize, like one med, you spell out the one, please. <laughs> one med Belize, you get to register your information. This is like, I think this is the, I would say the hardest part. <laughs> okay.
So what, what are we seeing on his screen? Because I have also downloaded the app. Is that you're you're, re you're registering yourself? So I'm I'm uh, I'm logging in because yeah. I already have a. Okay. So if if you're not if you're not if you're not if you don't haven't already registered, you just click the register button. Uh -huh. Then you input your first name, last name, your phone, your email, and then your personal password. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Once you have done that, then you can go ahead and just log in. Let's not show his password. <laughs> not show his password, yeah. Oh, it's a, it's a. <laughs> but the convenience so once you of having this app always on you. You're gonna come to the user interface. Okay. And you have your profile accessible, and on the on the drop menu, you have your previous appointment histories, your previous prescriptions, and your previous oh. lab. You also have any future appointments that you have a schedule, any image or documents that you may or may not have uploaded onto the app. And then you book an appointment via the, the button that's at the bottom. Oh. You select your appointment type, which right now we have consultations for, for the um, price stated. And then the reason for your appointment, which oh. could be okay. refill of diabetic medications okay. or pain to the knee or something like that. And then you submit the form, and our health coordinator will get back to you via text message. Mm. Um, and then you will be given a link to join the, the appointment. And, Daniel. Okay, wow. you know, like I, there are some features that I really like. For instance, the the appointment and the notification, because um, I, I've I've seen I, I've worked in the health system, and people can tend to forget uh, when their appointments are. So the fact that you can get reminded about your appointment is is beautiful, and I, and, and really it's a game changer indeed. Yes. Um, so I, we see on the screen that you're doing a, a a demo for folks that want to get introduced to this to this um, application. How can they go about making their, their appointment or uh, accessing this demo? So once, once, you have, once you've registered, mm -hmm. um, how to make the appointment, correct? Yeah. Once you've registered, you hit the book the appointment, you put in your reasoning for appointment, you um, submit the form, and the health coordinator will, will um, receive that notification. Then they will set you up with whatever time slots. They will offer you time slots. Okay. And then you will be able to choose which time slot is most convenient for you, whether it be before work or after work. Um, and then, yeah, your okay. appointment will be set. Sounds very, very smooth. I was going to ask, Doc, as we're wrapping up this segment, for people that are a little bit um, more seasoned, I don't like to say old, <laughs> um, could they have somebody register? Like, maybe they don't have the phone that can right. be for the app. Can they have, like, their granddaughter or somebody oh, register yeah, for that's them? that's definitely, yeah. And then they'd work it out. Because I'm thinking of ways that we can make sure that the people that need the refills, like, to save time, can be able to do it so they can create a, a, a profile for their grandparent or so on their phone and then carry out that process for them, right? Yeah, that, that's 100% doable. That's 100% doable, and that's, um, that's another query that has come up before. Um, definitely, we can't, we can't infringe upon the, the capabilities of use of technology upon persons who are more seasoned, like you said, no? But um, we can definitely set up set it up ourselves, input their information into the app to create their personal uh, profile, patient profile, and then you can set up appointments for them. Perfect. Okay. So for people that are taking care of you know, your grandparents or your parents and so forth, and they're thinking, oh, their phone isn't compatible, your phone is, right. you can be able to download the app, create a profile for them, and they can get that easy access to get medication consultations and just like ease their mind of having to worry about going there, it's time for their refills because we know that that's something they, ne they really need. Yeah, so, okay. so Dr. Lewis, just my last question is, is this app uh, or this profile already like up and running and people can start making their appointments from yes, as of today? Yes, it's up and running, Beautiful. both the web portal and the app. All oh, right, just very, very good news, yes. I know it's exciting, it's going to be great. So people download One Med, please, One Med Belize. Mm -hmm. is your, you can't miss it. Like, literally, it's so easy. Go on the App Store, download it, put in your information, and let's start making things much more easy. There's, you can schedule for a free demo, and all of these things can be happening for you, but sign up. Sign up for your parents or your grandparents. Make it convenient and easy, guys. And thank you so much, Doc, and your team that's put this together. It's really, like you said, we're, we're behind, but at least we're making steps to get to a better place, and that's the most important thing at this present moment that we're getting there. And I can see this is a great step towards improving technology and telemedicine. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. And so with that, guys, we go to our next commercial break. When we're back, we're keeping the medicine conversation alive. 
and we're talking about new payment incentive programs and how you can be a part of it. Let's figure out great creative ways in which we can pay our bills forward and move forward in general. Stay tuned.